Okay, question 18, we've got a question about, your big clue here is regular polygons. Um, we've got a pattern made from these tiles, they are regular polygons. You can see that tile B uh, actually is a triangle. Because it's regular, it's going to be an equilateral triangle. So you should be thinking to yourself, well, equilateral triangle, I know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. If it's regular, each angle is the same size, so each angle is going to be 60. So we can start to mark that on. That's 60. That's 60. That's 60. And then I'm just going to look around this point here. So I haven't really read or worried too much about what the question's asking me to do yet. Um, I'm just trying to work out what I can do with, with the maths that I've been given. So if we look around that point then, well, I know that around a point, I've got to add up to 360. So this angle round here is going to have to be 300 degrees. And then if I look at how it's made up, it's made up of two angles out of tile A. So what that means is that one of these angles in tile A is 150 degrees. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at a polygon with interior angle of 150 degrees. So when you're looking at regular polygons, the best thing to do is to use the thing for exterior angles. So exterior angles, so exterior angle um, in a polygon is... 360 divided by the number of sides. So we can start to see how we could use this to try and work out the number of sides that A has. So if the interior, so this is the interior angle here, it's 50 degrees, it's 50 degrees, sorry 150 degrees, then the exterior angle is 30 degrees because the interior plus the exterior make 180. So I know that the exterior angle here is 30 degrees. So I've got a little equation to solve here. Um, I mean, you can solve it like an equation or you can just solve it by kind of reasoning. So 360 divided by something is 30. So 360 divided by something is 30. Then also 360 divided by 30 is going to have to give us what that number is. So what I can do then is just say, how many times does 30 go into 360? Well, 3 goes into 36 12 times, so 30 is going to have to go into 360 12 times. So I've got the answer that A has got 12 sides. Again, it's a four mark question, it's quite tricky, a lot of problem solving here. Um, it might be that maybe you can get a pick up mark for realising what you've got here about um, your equilateral triangle, for realising that you've got 300 degrees around here, for realising that you've got 150 degree angle. So look for the odd mark that you can pick up.